So the sequence for this round is one single crochet stitch into each of the next four stitches and then two single crochet stitches into the next stitch and you'll repeat that right around to the end. I'm now up towards the end of round six and I've got 48 stitches and we're going to join now so there's our join from the previous round there's the chain one that we made at the start of this round and there's our first single crochet we'll make a slip stitch into that first single crochet and that's the end of round six so now we're up to round seven and for round seven we'll start off with a chain one and we'll make one single crochet into the same space as the chain one there. There's our first single crochet. Now we'll do one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. Just one single crochet stitch into each of those four stitches. There's one. Into the next stitch. single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet and into the next stitch one single crochet and into this next stitch we'll do two single crochet stitches There's our first single crochet and into that same stitch we'll do a second single crochet stitch. And so the sequence for the rest of this round is one single crochet into each of the next five stitches and then two single crochet stitches into the next stitch repeating that sequence right around to the end i'm up towards the end of round seven and i now have 56 stitches and now we're going to join into the first single crochet stitch we made so find your join from the previous round there there's the chain one and there's the single crochet that we want to join into with a slip stitch. And that's the end of round seven. Now you will notice that it is curling slightly, but um, I'll explain how you can flatten that out towards the end of this video tutorial. So for round eight, we'll start off with a chain one. And we'll do one single crochet stitch into the same space there as the chain one. And now we'll do one single crochet into each of the next five stitches along. Into the next stitch, one single crochet. Into the next stitch, one single crochet. And 
into the next stitch one single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet And now into the next stitch we'll do two single crochet stitches. So there's the first one. Into the same stitch do a second single crochet. Now the sequence for the rest of this round is one single crochet into each of the next six stitches along and then two single crochet stitches into the next stitch repeating that right around to the end. I'm up towards the end of round eight and I now have 64 stitches and we're going to join into the first single crochet stitch here. by making a slip stitch. And that's the end of round eight. Now for round nine, we'll start with a chain one and a single crochet into the same space as the chain one. Now we're going to do one single crochet into each of the next six stitches along. One into the next stitch, to the next stitch. three into the next stitch four into the next stitch five into the next stitch and there's our six now moving into the next stitch 